Hey folks, have you ever wanted to 3D print a mask or a helmet, but worried about wasting filament and time? Some of these masks can take up to 50 hours and use up multiple rolls of filament. Amazon at a fantastic price, less than 20 bucks Canadian for a roll. Like Silk provides the filament on a reusable AMS compatible reel. Can you tell the difference? When it arrived, I noticed that I accidentally ordered PLAF. PLAF contains 15% of ABS material, which means it's important to ventilate your space. Some of the fumes or particles could be hazardous to your lungs. I threw caution to the wind and I started testing right away using Bamboo Labs default settings for PLA. In hindsight, it was a big mistake on my part to ignore the manufacturer's settings and start testing right away with Bamboo's default settings, but results are coming soon. This PLAF really sticks to the textured bed. It's extremely difficult to remove, so I highly recommend that you use a plastic scraper. Worst case scenario, just reheat the bed a little bit just to soften up the material. It'll help you to remove it easier. Let's review the results. The links to all the materials are going to be in the description below, so you can check those out. But just at a glance, all the red was printed with light silk material. The black and the white was printed with bamboo material. And as you can see, the texture, I mean, it came out really dynamite. There was a few minor flaws. And just a real quick tip, you can pick up one of these knives at any hardware store that you can use for being able to clean up the edges. It makes it really simple and easy. But now I'm going to take it apart just to dissect the pros and the cons and the interior finish on this thing is super smooth this is extremely rigid and i believe it has to do with the abs content that's in there that helps rigidize the material so this piece came out flawless this is budwin's little symbol it's his helmet again the links in the description but i'm going to show you the few small defects that i encountered i'm going to show you the few small defects that i encountered this is the top of the mask and it's just in this area around the magnet where it failed. So nobody sees it. It didn't keep me from being able to install the magnet. And I'm just going to give a little referral to this Gorilla Glue, uh, basically the equivalent of a, a gel super glue with a childproof safety cap that's difficult to remove. <laughs> okay, there we go. The thing that I love about this bottle of glue is that when you remove this cap, it's a dropper tip to allow you to put one drop of gel in a very specific location. But when you remove the outer cap, there's a brush at the end of it that will allow you to be able to paint the glue on in strategic locations. And because it's a gel, you can really get the glue where you want. It doesn't end up running all over the place. So there'll be a link to that in the description as well. Just as an FYI, I wasn't sponsored by Like Silk. I did ask them to sponsor me and they declined, but honestly, the results were so good that I just had to share this with the community that it's a, a great option. It's on sale right now, both in Canada and the US. I've got Amazon affiliate links in the description. Really helped me out. Any purchases really helped me out. So the filament, the magnets, the glue, all the links will be in the descriptions below.